He's a Hollywood actor who needs no introduction. From his appearances in Thor and the Avengers, playing the one-of-a-kind roles like Luther, Stringer Bell, and so many others, his heart has always remained within the world of music. A lifetime commitment to being a DJ has brought him back here to Dubai and into the Dance FM studios. Ladies and gentlemen, Idris Elba. Calvin Harris and Dua Lipa. Big tune. James, that is a big tune. That was awesome just to have you get on the mic like that. <laughs> Welcome. Thanks for having me, man. I'm so, oh man, Dubai, what's up? It's Idris, I'm so happy to be here, James. Really having a this is good huge, time so man. far. man. This is, first of all, a blessing. <laughs> Second of all, just an awesome surprise to hear that you're going to be coming in. You've got some awesome stuff planned for us here in the UAE, of yeah. course. We'll get to all that, though. But yeah. first, uh, let's, let's get to your name, I guess, before we go into the music. Idris Elba, Big Driss, what do you like going by? Where did that name come from, first of all, yeah, for no, you DJing? It, Big Driss it was my, Big Driss has been my DJ name, it's been my rap name, you know what I'm saying? That's right. I used to put some 16s out, but really and truly at the moment, I just DJ as Idris. Okay. Or Idris Elba. I just go by my name because, you know, like the Big and the Driss, it was just a little juvenile for me, and uh, as I'm... At a nice mature age, I just thought, let me just go with my name, you know. Yeah, eventually you might get past all of that yeah, stuff. Exactly. No, but um, but you know, like people call me whatever. Like, on the street, people call me Driss. People call me Big Driss. All sorts of names, James. I can't say them on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. We'll we'll keep it to uh, to Idris. What what can you tell us about your start in music? What got you first started? Was it the rap first or production? What and when did it happen? Do you know what? The first time I really fell in love with music was DJing, and it was making music, rap. It was me and my my boy, one of my best mates, uh, Razak, and and one of my boys, Boogie, and we had a group. We had a, a rap group called Ultra Demus. What a name, right? Ultra Demus. Ultra Demus. Uh, at the time, I was uh, MC Idrico. Okay. Yep. You like that name? I like the you name. You know, look Idrico. Idrico, yeah. I just have it's the UK, right? Yeah. My mum still calls me Idrico every now and again. I was like, mum, you know, like, <laughs> I'm not rapping anymore. But that was literally where I started. Uh, my uncle was a DJ, and I used to travel with him when he used to DJ at weddings and christenings. And so... It was from there, but I used to, make, you know, at first I was really making a lot of music with my boys and Ultra Demas, rapping on 12 inches and all of that. And then um, essentially I took it, took it further and took it more seriously. I got the acting bug at the same time I got the music bug. So, you okay. know what I mean? I got, that, I got to that crossroads and I obviously went with the acting more. And does, did, you went with acting more because you enjoyed it more or was it like an opportunity type of thing? You know, I think I'm probably a better actor. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna get a taste of your music, man. No, I mean I, I love making music, and but I, I really do find acting is uh, my biggest form of expression. Do you know what I mean? I, I've I've uh, been a part of many characters that I think have really sort of stretched my imagination, my creativity, my music. You know, I think actually the best is yet to come. Um, over the last six years, I've really been focusing. Uh, and I could feel my 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 fan base like knowing and understanding that oh okay he's a DJ he's taking it seriously and I still feel I've got some you know some some good music to give them but and also DJ performances because I I love to DJ you know it's my heart that's right and speaking of performances you are live tonight out Boom. of Gotha Club Dubai yeah you excited? I can't wait. I'm so excited man it's gonna be a, it's a great club. They have great DJs there. I think Steve Aoki is going to be there or has mm -hmm. been there. They have great DJs. So I'm very privileged to come and do uh, Goffa tonight. I've uh, got some big, big, big tunes for awesome. them tonight. You know? Sweet. Mm. Well, all right. Is this your first time uh, in the UAE or performing in the UAE? No, no, no. I've done a, um, I did a party before and it was on the beach somewhere. Everyone was wearing white. It was very cool. Okay. Um, I've done that. And I actually, I made a film here. I did um, part of Star Trek here. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. All right. Now, I have a question for you. Uh, with the music, one of your more notable projects for me, uh, as somebody listening to you, was your involvement in the American Gangster album, uh, <laughs> right. working with Jay-Z and all of that. How yeah. was that experience for you? That was a pretty trippy experience. You know, I was in the movie, and uh, while I was in the movie, I got the privileged information that Jay-Z was going to make the soundtrack or a soundtrack. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you know, I was feeling myself as a rapper and a poet. And I was like, look, I'm going to get on the album. <laughs> and everyone's like, yeah, right. You're going to get on Jay-Z's album. Okay, no worries, bro. You go ahead and do that. 
Uh, and basically, I went out to the studio. I have uh, a good friend of mine, Arande, who, who knows Jay's camp very well, and basically told Jay, it just wants to send you something. And Jay said, oh, my guy, I like him. Of course, send it. That was a terrible Jay-Z impression. Do not show that <laughs> to anyone in the world. Anyway, so before you know it, um, I recorded uh, I recorded this, this, this poem. You know, I wasn't going to rap. I wasn't going to try and rap with Jay-Z. So I decided to... Uh, I worked with uh, Chris and uh, Angela. We got in the studio. We made this uh, poem, this sonnet. And basically, I spoke from the heart about, you know, gangsters. I thought about what Jay-Z might be saying on his album. I thought about what Ridley and I were doing in the film and Denzel. And I put that together. And and then I sent it to Jay-Z. And I remember getting an email back from um, his guy. And he said, um, Jay doesn't love it. No, ah, oh, messed it up. Oh, Jay messed doesn't it. like it. He said Jay doesn't like it. He loved it. He loves it. And that was the uh, that was the moment that I, you know I nearly crashed my car because I was in the car driving <laughs> at the time. Uh, and that's how I got on the album. That's really cool, man. Yeah, man. That's awesome. Well, you've been blessed to work with a lot of artists, actors, directors, um, and and you've done some really cool gigs as well. What has been your favorite? Whether it was a live performance or. Uh, something you've done in studio with a certain collaborator. What, what's what's one of like the biggest highlights for you? As a musician or as an actor? Uh, as a musician. <laughs> um, I think I, I did an album called Me Mandela, where I, f- I flew out to uh, South Africa and I worked with South African artists and English artists. And we booked a studio for like three weeks and just was in and out writing songs. And that was, you know, uh, it was also a bit of therapy. You know, I, I lost my dad. Uh, just before I made that album. And mm-hmm. so I just flew, you know, flew to South Africa, um, set up shop there for, for a few weeks and just made a record and, and got a lot of grief off my, of, my, of my chest. And I'm really proud of that record because the songs are really, really genuine. Uh, they come from the movie, they come from my heart and they come from South African artists as well as English artists. It was a wicked collaborative process. So that's probably been my, my best musical album album is called me mandela you can go and stream it now Me mandela that's mm. right mm. it's crazy how some of that stuff happens all at the same time in life you wonder if it's like yeah you know. no you're right man it was a real you know it was a spiritual moment losing him that i'm my only child so losing my father was a hard thing to go through but then you know it, it literally it was the first time i made an album i was like right i'm gonna do it and i poured my heart into it that's amazing mm. now you're saying that the uh the best is yet to come for you sonically do you have uh, something coming up? Something you know? Any releases, projects you're working on that you could that you could you know kind of tease us with? Uh, yeah, I mean, yes, and look, I, I don't want to you know what I mean say too much, but the yeah. truth is, you know, I started a label, Seven Wallace, um, and I've been blessed with you know some really great artists coming onto the label, putting out some releases. But I've got a couple of really big juicy EPs coming from some really nice artists that I'm ex- really excited about and in the dance world you know like some to get some acts to come to a new label is a, is a big deal so I'm super excited about that awesome uh, and yeah I'm working on a really big musical project it's a film okay and uh, a lot of my music is going to be involved in that as well very beautiful we're looking forward to it Idris <laughs> so uh, how about you say we take a little break from the chatting and oh. see what uh, what What's you've quieting? got <laughs> Yeah, you, you, want me, you want me to uh, go over there and start play some tune? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, I'm going to go and do it right now. I've got to put my glasses on because I can... That's fine, I mean? Because the cameras and the lights and Get the in your sweat. mode. Get oh, in your man. mode, man. Good interview, James. Thank awesome. you very much, Idris. Bunk. All right, here we go. We are gearing up for it. A live set from the Dance FM studio. Idris Elba in the mix, of course. <laughs> 